Hey guys, it's Gemma Pixie Hickson and today I'm going to be doing a review for the MAC Wonder Woman Limited Edition Collection. Um, all of these products were bought by myself, so this is my honest opinion. Um, I bought all of my products from the online store from the MAC store and also the Selfridges store. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you kind of the prices as well as like if I like the products or not. Um, let me get my prices up. Um, so first of all, I got this t-shirt, which is an online exclusive, so you have to buy these from the Mac store online or the Selfridges online store, you can't buy these in store. Um, I bought this in a size small, it comes up quite large, I thought it might be um, like a skinny fit t-shirt, but it's not, it's more of a long line, um, kind of, not baggy, but it's not a really tight slim fit top, so if you're worried about it being too tight, um, I wouldn't worry about it and I'd go for a smaller size or just, you know, stick to your size. So, um, I'll show you the design. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit baggy, um, which is really cool. This is the design that's on the front of all of the packaging for the Wonder Woman collection. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and talk about all of the makeup that I bought. Um, so the stuff from Selfridges, which came in the Selfridges packaging. Um, so first of all, this is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, um, which is huge for a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, probably double the amount you usually get. Um, the packaging, I think, personally, is amazing. A lot of people have been saying that they don't like the packaging, um, but it's Wonder Woman, what do you expect? I don't know, I don't know what people expect, really. Um, I can see why lots of people wouldn't want to take it kind of out with them if they're I don't know, an older woman or kind of they just don't like bright packaging or, you know, some people have said they think it's tacky. Um, I personally think, you know, Wonder Woman is a graphic novel character. She's bold, she's feisty, she likes bright colours. Um, you know, it's like, it's meant to be kind of bright, bold. I don't really know what people um, expected from the packaging. Um, I have, however, heard that, you know, people would have liked it if they'd have had this kind of comic um, strip on the actual packaging. I'll show you the actual packaging. This is cool. Um, but personally, I think this is pretty cool. I don't want all my makeup to look the same, and I think it's very different from anything I've ever seen. Um, therefore, I think MAC did a great um, job of the design process. Personally, everyone's different. A lot of people wouldn't want to take this out with them, but I'm not going anywhere. Um, I wouldn't mind personally being seen with this. You know, it's just a bit of fun. Um, however, I can understand if you're like a businesswoman and you're sat kind of, you know, just about to powder my nose and you get out this kind of like bright red thing, people might think you're a little odd. But who cares what people think? Um, so, this is the Mineralized Skin Finish. I got this in Golden Lariat. I would say this is for medium to dark skin tones. Um, I look really pale right now. I'm not. It's the bright light. Um, however, I would have liked to have got the, um, pink colour, which I can't remember the name of right now. I will put it somewhere. Um, but online right now, it says coming soon on the MAC site. And on the Selfridges, um, site, I assume it's sold out because they only have Golden Lariat. Um... But the pigment pigmentation doesn't come out too dark, it doesn't come out, you know, overly dark, so I wouldn't worry if you can only get hold of this one, um, you can just apply it, you know, a lot lighter. Um, that's what I say. I'm not a makeup artist, however, and this review isn't going to be an amazing review of um, the pigmentation and the colours, because I'm not really, you know, I don't know my stuff about makeup. Um, however, this comes with three different colours. It comes with a bronzer, it comes with a blush, and it comes with a highlighter. You can't really see these very well. I'll just keep this here for a minute. <laughs> this is the bronzer. It's quite a brown, dark colour, but as I said, the pigmentation isn't too dark. Um, you can, It's buildable, so you can build it up. Um, this is the blush, which is quite a terracotta colour. Um, I usually do wear kind of more pinks, um, but I guess that's because I'm used to being blonde, because I was blonde since birth, and then I went brunette like a, a year ago, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. Um, but I think brunettes can get away with kind of like a, 
more not orange, not in a bad way, but like, you know, terracotta colours. Um, not saying that if you're blonde you can't get away with this, you probably can, it will look beautiful on you. Um, but I think that, um, let's see if it will work, shall we? Instead of blabbing on about it. Will you work? Please work. Mm, this colour here is the blush. Um, so it is quite an orange kind of, well, terracotta colour. Um, if you prefer your pinks, um, I'd go for the other MAC Mineralize Skin Finish colour, which I can't remember what it is, sorry. Um, however, I absolutely love the highlighter in this. It's a gold colour. Let's put loads of that on there. Can you see? Oh, yeah, that, the gold colour here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. The pigmentation's beautiful. I actually put it on my brow bone and my cheekbone today. Um, so I would say if you're looking for just one product out of the whole collection, I would say this is pretty amazing because this is only £26 and as I said before, um, if you're a MAC lover, you would know that this is huge for a MAC mineralized skin finish. Um, so I would say this is a pretty cool buy really, so um, look out for that. Um, secondly, from Selfridges, I bought this, which is called the Penultimate Eyeliner um, and it's basically, it looks like a felt tip. Um, I'm used to using the Black Track um, Fluid Line from MAC, which is basically a pot of gel eyeliner and you use a brush to put it on. However, I thought, um, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a change, um, so I thought I'd give this a go. It's got the lovely packaging. Um, look on the other one. Um, this is called Rapid Black, it only came in one colour. Um, and it looks like this. So it does actually look like one of those felt tips that you use when you're kind of small. Um, and even inside it looks like a felt tip. Um, I was worried, however, that it's quite like a fat top. <laughs> um, that it would be really hard to apply and that, you know, it would just be really messy. However, I used it today and I felt like I had more control with than with a brush, like I usually do. Um, it came out really lovely, it's really quite dark, but it's buildable, and also, um, if you know, it, well, I'll show you, what the hey, you know, that's a really, 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 that's not really the best um, <laughs> example I could have given you, because that was a really thick line, but that's because I used the edge. Anyhow, it's really dark, and also what I've noticed is it doesn't come off easily, which if you're someone who, you know, does a lot during the day and is busy and wants their eyeliner to stay on and not move anywhere, then this is a pretty cool product because it does seem like it's long lasting. So onto the stuff that I bought from the Mac online store, um, which was packaged really nicely. I will show you. I'm so easily pleased. <laughs> um, Hold your horses. And I think the packaging is really cool also because, as you can see, the image carries um, around the whole box. Therefore, if you put two together, it kind of creates the whole image. If you see what I mean, the lighting is so rubbish. Well done. So first of all, I'm going to start with the blush. Um, this particular blush is a lovely colour. It's called Mighty Aphrodite. And unfortunately, well, when I last checked, um, this particular colour is sold out on the Selfridges and the MAC online store. However, if you go to a MAC store or Selfridges store, they may well have it. I wouldn't know. Um, there is another colour as well, which is darker, which is probably, you know, for more medium to dark skin tones. Um, my blushes, I don't like to wear a lot of blusher. Um, I'm not majorly a blusher person. I quite like um, sometimes to contour with um, bronzer or, you know, a darker colour. But... Um, However, I think this is a really lovely colour, Mighty Aphrodite. Um, this is £21, which I thought was a pretty good price for a blush, um, personally. Um, it comes with a mirror, but I don't want to blind you, which I thought was really lovely too, um, because the skin fin the mineralised skin finish didn't come with a mirror, um, which would have been cool if it did, but what the hey, um, I think it was a really good buy for the money. Um, so this is Mighty Aphrodite, and... Um, it's a lovely kind of baby pink colour with a more rose magenta kind of blush. Um, you can mix the two together and apply it or, um, you know, 
use one and then the other underneath um, to kind of contour a bit more. Um, I did put this on today. I did find that the, again, with the pigmentation, it wasn't, um, you know, overly pigmented. It needs to be, like, built up. But then again, I really like that about a product because I hate it when you put a product on and it's just too um, dark or too pink or, you know, I like something to be buildable because then you can wear as much as appropriate, you know, if you're, I don't know, I don't go out and stuff, so I'm a really rubbish person to say, but if you are going out on the night, you know, you might want to put more on, but if you're just during the day, you might want to put less on. So I think that um, this is a really nice product, um, but as I said, you'll have to go to a Mac store or a Selfridges store to find this particular colour. It did come in a dark colour, um, which was also lovely, it was just looked a bit too dark for my skin tone. Um, so on to the next thing. I've never actually bought a nail varnish from a limited edition collection before. I usually stick to like the lipsticks and stuff. So I thought, let's give it a change, let's buy one. Um, purely because this was such a cool colour and I've never had a blue, which this is what it is. It's Spirit of Truth. Um, I actually painted my nails last night. I put red stars on and I also did like some weird little designs. Um, so... This is Spirit of Truth in the blue. They also do it in a red colour. Um, I really do love the packaging, to be honest. I think it's pretty awesome. It's very different, and I like my limited edition collections to be different. I don't want all my limited edition collections to look the same, because then it would be pointless. Um, so this is what the nail varnish looks like, and I think that's so cute, personally. Um, so yeah, I don't think the colour's um, like a horrible blue like I don't know I'm not a very blue person saying that I've got my blue eyes and I'm wearing my <laughs> blue necklace that my boyfriend bought me but um however I think that the blue is a, a lovely colour it's not I wouldn't say it's too vibrant I'd say it's more of a royal blue um and I personally really like this so on to lipsticks and this is another thing that I would say if you're only buying a few things from the collection these are the things probably to buy as well as the mineralized skin finish. Purely because the packaging is absolutely, I just love the look of the lipsticks. Um, there are two there. Um, but also, I love the colours as well. So, I do actually love MAC lipsticks to be honest. I don't, I don't really like to wear lipstick that much. Um, I used to be a, a lip gloss girl and then I just couldn't be bothered to wear anything on my lips to be honest with you. Um, today I actually have one of them on, I have Marquise de, Marquise de, it has a comma after, um, no it doesn't, not a comma, not at all, no, 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 but it sounds like it needs something afterwards, like, um, you know, like, Marquise de l'Orange, obviously not that, because that would not make sense at all, and I can't speak French, so don't laugh at me, um, however, let's stick with this one first, seeing as I've just mentioned it, in a stupid accent, um, this is what I mean. The packaging for these is absolutely gorgeous. I think that's so cute. Um, I would not be afraid to take this out of my bag anywhere, even though I wouldn't be going anywhere, but one day I will do. Um, this is the colour and it's a beautiful kind of, um, I'd say it's kind of, it's got brown kind of tones, but it's got like a silver tones in it and it's also kind of like a pinky colour. I'll put some more on for you. So it is kind of, um, has got like a pink tone to it. I'll put some pictures up as well so that you can see that more. I will try and do a swatch for you. I actually think that's a gorgeous, and this is a luster. And I love those um, in the MAC collections. Um, so here you go, down the bottom here. Um, I personally love that. And MAC lipsticks always seem so lovely on, like I've had lipsticks before, um, one of the reasons I just didn't want to wear them because they just kind of feel, I don't know what the word is, not cakey because that's, you know, more foundation word, but it did feel really um, just horrible on, but these feel absolutely lovely. Um, the next one I bought, if I can find it, um, is Spitfire, which I'm in love with this colour. Um, it's quite a bright colour. Well, this is the packaging again. It's not like a fluorescent colour. Um, it actually looks a lot more pink and magenta on the camera. I'm not sure why. 
um, but it's actually more of like a deep purple. Oh, that's a bit better. Um, I will swatch that for you. And this is a satin finish. So this here is Spitfire. So I personally love that. Um, sometimes I don't like wearing very bright lipstick because it can look quite garish. Um, it just depends on your facial features and you know your skin tone and wearing the right colour. But I think that um, you could pull that off quite easily. Um, there were some amazing red colours um, in this collection. Um, and if you can pull off red, I bow down to you because I'd love to be able to pull off red. Um, like Gwen Stefani style, she's someone who can really pull off red and not make it look, you know, just <clears throat> should be careful with my words, um, you know, whatever. Um, but I can't really pull off reds. I just feel a bit um, like I just I look a bit tacky when I wear red. Personally, it just doesn't suit me. Um, then again, there are different kind of vibes of red. This red was more like you know the Wonder Woman kind of red color. Um, so if you like reds, go and check those out because there were some really lovely um, red colours in the Wonder Woman collection. They just weren't for me because I would look silly in them. Um, so next on to these. Oh, the lipsticks were £15 each, which I thought was pretty good, personally. Um, so next I bought two lip glass. Um, lip glasses, um, and I mean that, yeah, because that's what MAC call their lip gloss. Um, again, I love this packaging, the way that, it, like, you know, if you buy two, they fit together. Um, so I actually bought um, the colours that matched with the lipsticks, um, because, you know, they all matched. There were four colours in each range, four lip glasses and four lipsticks. So, first of all, I will go with Emancipation, which goes with Marquise de... Marquise d'Ange! <laughs> That's not what it's called. Don't be going into Mac saying that because they'll think you're mental. Um, it's called Marquise de... Marquise de... If you were watching this video, you probably stopped watching quite a long time ago and I've probably got no one left watching because I'm such an oddball. Anyway, this is a lip glass. And as you can tell, this is huge um, for a lip gloss. Um, and I think that's pretty cool as well. I love the way that this whole range, they seem to have given you way more for your money. Um, so I will show you. Be very careful when you're opening these, however, because they have a tendency to uh, go everywhere. Which isn't good if you've got cream carpets like me. I don't want to be told off. Um, so the brush is huge, and I actually today put this on over my Marquise de. Um, and it's um, it's lovely because it's not actually sticky. I hate it when you have lip gloss that feels sticky on, and you're just like, mm. um, so I think this is a lovely product, um, and it's huge. I'd say that's a big thumbs up. Um, and then the last product that I bought... So this is Athena's Kiss, and this kind of goes with, you don't have to buy it with the lipstick, of course you don't have to do that, but it does go with um, Spitfire. Um, as you can tell, because this is the Spitfire colour, and this is the lip glass. Um, again, it's got the massive wand. Ooh, don't want you to go everywhere, that would not be cool. Like so. And I think that's awesome. So... If you're into your Wonder Woman, or you just fancy a bright, bold collection, you know, something different, um, or you just like the colours, I really, really would suggest that you go and have a look at these um, in a Mac store or order some online, because I personally haven't bought anything that I disliked. Um, I love the way that the blush is buildable and the mineralised skin finish is buildable. I love the colours in the lipstick and the nail varnish, which I'm wearing. <laughs> and... Um, I give MAC a big thumbs up for this collection, um, and I also love the packaging, whatever people say. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my review. I'm really sorry that I'm not a great 
reviewer, but everyone kind of wanted me to do this seeing as I'd bought lots of the products um, and they kind of wanted to see something a bit different from me. So um, I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, much love guys. Bye.